It's been at least five years since former Mayor Greg Fisher's administration began efforts to transform the Urban Government Center. Plans to redevelop the vacant building took a step forward today, but with missing pieces. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick explains why a breakdown in negotiations could hold plans back. What happened today was just the first step to get the 10 acre property rezoned. But even at, as that process progresses, a deal with neighbors still isn't done, which could bring the overall project to a standstill. People living and working near the vacant urban government center are done looking at an eyesore. We want this gone. It is time for us to move forward. Many expressed excitement about the developer's plans, which include turning the site into apartments and office space, appealing to Louisville's Land Development and Transportation Committee during a meeting, the first step to getting the land rezoned so the project can progress. This is something that in the long run is going to be better for all those who live there. Part of moving forward requires a community benefits agreement between the developer and surrounding neighborhoods. But the people representing the neighborhoods have stopped negotiating. The system's broken. It's been a tough process. During the zoning meeting Thursday, Shannon Musselman pointed out concerns with the project, including placement of a planned hotel. She and others involved feel there's a lack of assurances from the developer and that they aren't being heard. We need a very honest, concise, and transparent process. That's what we want. That's what we need. Louisville Forward is helping with the negotiation and says the developer has made compromises and would be open to discussing hotel placement and other concerns. I think if, if we can keep talking here, um, you know, we, we all see it as a benefit to having something happen on this site, I think that we can um, move the project forward. Yeah, I think it's go time. The committee ultimately decided to move the zoning request forward to a future public hearing. That public hearing will be held in the evening on February 7th. You can read more about the history of the old urban government site right now on WDRB.com. Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News.